Hi friends, I am Dr. Gaurav Agrawal. I am working as a pediatric cardiologist at Children Heart Care Delhi. Today I will discuss a congenital form of heart disease known as the total anomalous plumbing venous connection or TAPVC in short form. It is a form of cyanotic congenital heart disease meaning by in this patient in this uh, CSD patient is generally blue in color. Normal saturation is more than 97 to 100% but in this type of problem the saturation is generally less than 93 to 95% of the. Now what is the meaning of TAPVC? There are two lungs in the bo body as we all know. From these two lungs there are, uh, there are two vessels arises one uh, two from right lung and two from the left lung. These two four veins known as the pulmonary veins drains in, into the left sided upper chambers of the heart known as the left atrium. Directly drains into the left sided atrium. Then it supplies the pure blood to the body. So the body remains pink in color and saturation remains normal. But in case of TAPVC that four veins from both the lungs will, will not go directly into the left atrium. It will form a chamber behind the left atrium where it will drain and after forming a chamber it can drain either up in, into the superior vena cava from the this vessel it is known as the supracardic TPVC or this chamber can drain directly into the heart or by the coronary sinus known as the cardiac type of TAPVC or can if can a chamber a channel can drain down to the inferior vena cava that drains impure blood from the legs to the heart known as the infracardiac TPVC. Sometimes there is fourth variant known as the mixed type of TAPVC in which there can be any combination of these three types of TAPVC. And another type is whether the TAPVC is obstructed or not. If What is the meaning of obstruction? Channel can be obstructed either up, down or in the cardiac form. Any type of TAPVC can be obstructed. Now question comes what can be the symptoms of TAPVC. As I told you the TAPVC is a cyanotic congenital heart disease in which the saturation will remain low as compared to the normal. If the saturation is more than 85% but less than 95% we cannot detect by the eyes. So we have to take the saturation in the finger and the, the pulse oximeter will let us know the saturation is low in this patient. Now the symptoms will depend whether the TAPVC is obstructed or, or, or unobstructed. If there is Obstructed TPVC, especially in case of infracardiac TPVC, that is almost always obstructed. In that case, the, as soon as after delivery, patient will be very tachypneic, dyspneic, and the saturation cannot be maintained, and the patient will be in acidotic-like situation. That is an emergency. We have to treat this type of TPVC immediately after delivery by open heart surgery. And the situation can be unobstructed type. That patient generally asymptomatic, uh, especially in first month of age. Then by a local pediatrician, he will hear some sound over the chest. Then he will send to the pediatric cardiologist. He will assess the things and make the diagnosis. And symptoms can be in the form of bluish discoloration of lips and fingers, difficulty in breathing, difficulty in feeding, uh, poor weight gain and pneumonia-like situation can be there. In this video, we have discussed the types and symptoms of the TAPVC. In next video, we will discuss how do we make the diagnosis and how do we treat this TAPVC. For more detail, you can log into my website childrenheartcare.com. Thank you very much.